Hello. All right, so I am headed into the office, but I gotta give you a uh, quick Mama Anita talking to, okay? Because <laughs> I'm getting tired of it. I'm getting all the way tired of the stuff y'all have been doing, okay? So I'm heading into the office. I got an appointment at one, so I'm not gonna be long. <laughs> I'm not. All right, that's me pulling away from the the internet at home. So it it always just connects when that happens. <clears throat> but here's what I want to share. This is for the men and this is for the women. Okay? Everybody can get some today. All right? Y'all, I have been fighting off laryngitis i've been fighting off throat problems because that is my bread and butter that is how i make money is talking and there are very few times where i give my voice a rest i'm trying to develop more voice rest at night like nine o'clock trying to shut down the talking around nine and just giving my voice a rest. That's something I've been working on. Um, but it's this change in the weather, change in the season, that every year around this time, my voice, my throat don't wanna act right. But anyway, hello. So here's what I'm gonna tell y'all. <laughs> and, and some of you see this coming. Some of you know this is coming. I predominantly make content for women. That is why I created my platform because I believe that women actually have the power to turn all of this around. So just like women, they got this whole feminist movement started and uh, women, you know, call themselves holding men to task for their sexual assaults, their sexual abuse, their rape of women and you know they're fed up and they're not gonna take it anymore and so they have been a very powerful force in the last 50 years so that shows you how much power that women have okay they can make things happen and what I now want to see women make happen is I want them to hold themselves accountable. I want them to hold themselves to task. And by doing so, that will in turn hold men accountable and hold them to task. Like if we become better gatekeepers, a lot of the things that men do would end. Like it would end. They wouldn't have any choice. Because remember, the whole idea is that really it only takes one side, one person to create a positive change. It only takes one to break a cycle that you find yourself in. We don't need two people to do that. It only takes one. That's why when I'm working with couples and people don't want to hear this, but I'm going to, you know, I'm going to tell you the truth. Someone, the man or the woman, someone has to be different. Someone has to be brave enough to change. Someone has to be brave enough to grow. Just one. But see, here's what happens. We get so caught up in our ego that we start pointing to the other person. They need to change. No, they need to change. No, they need to change. No, they need to change. All it takes is one. And I'm here to enlighten people to a level where they will decide to be that one. Like I have decided to be that one out here in the world in my life. I have decided to be that one in my relationship. It only takes one. But I'm getting tired of the uh, accountability shifting. I'm tired, I'm over it. I'm over it. I don't wanna see another man on a video that I did for men suggesting that you be good to your woman. Suggesting that you continue to game her. Suggesting that you continue to date her or compliment her or whatever. Like, if I hear one more man 
say, oh, so it's all on us. It's, it's always us that got to do this and that and the third. It's always on us. No, sir. That is your part. Okay, let's flip that. If I hear one more woman, <laughs> one more woman come on a video that I made for women, have mm, with your husband, okay? Have mm, with your husband, okay? If I hear one more woman, well, what is he doing and what is he not doing? And it's because of this and he doing that. He not doing enough of this and I don't feel, okay, stop. Stop. A lot of y'all grown folk, uh, and it's grown folk. There's only grown folk on my platform. I don't have any 16 year olds, 15 year olds, 14. I got grown adults doing this. And y'all, grown folk, <laughs> can't, it's like, it's like little kids in grown up bodies. That's how I know it's a lot of hurt. It's a lot of wounds. It's a lot of work out here that needs to be done. You can't take no medicine. Like, really? Can it be you? It's been me a lot of the time. Like, I'm sitting here telling y'all that. That I've been in situations where it was me. I'm the problem. And at some point, you have to mature to the point where you can say it's you. What, you, what do you need to do? That's how I got better. That's how I changed. That's how I grew. Because I was willing to say, you know what? It's me. I'm the problem. If I change, if I grow, if I be different, things will be different. But this accountability shifting, I'm over it. I'm over it. Okay? And this whole, you know, and the men, y'all butt hurt. Can I say that? I'm going to say it. Y'all butt hurt. Because somebody... Somebody done did you wrong or then, you know, I don't know. Somebody did something to you that you can't take no, like, mm -mm, you're not taking no medicine, no accountability. You're like, nope, nope, nope. It's the women, it's the women, it's the women. And they did it, and they did it. Yeah. But see, if you masculine, if you mature, right? You don't jump all in the comments talking about, you go both ways. And it's these women. And don't listen to her. She didn't, yeah, yeah. There, there you go. All in your feminine feelings. But if you're masculine, you just, you lay back in the cut, you sit back and you go, you know what? Okay. When was the last time I gave my wife a compliment? When was the last time? I mean, we both were. When was the last time I, I got dinner ready? Or when was the last time? Like, that's it. That's it. That's all I'm saying. And for the women, I'm not leaving y'all out. I'm for, for the women that you have a whole husband a whole husband and that husband got needs because remember this marriage is your ministry you're not married to get you're married to give okay when I get married it is with the expressed understanding of what I'm going to give and do like I've already started making a list of what Anita gives and does in her healthy marriage and it's not just about me getting, it's about me giving. And I don't know who told you. I don't know if your, you know, your mama told you, your auntie told you that you a little princess and you know, the man is supposed to cater to you all the time and, and the relationship is just for you. And I don't know who told you that, okay? But I'm here to tell you the truth. You marry to, to minister to your husband. You marry to minister to other people out in the world. You show them what a good wife is. You show them what a good mother is. You don't get married to have your ring and to, you know, have your wedding and your bachelorette party and just, you know, the MRS period is in front of your name and, you know, yeah, girl, yeah, I got a whole husband. And then as soon as you get them, he can't get nothing. He can't get no sandwich. He can't get no... Mm -mm. I can't even say it, y'all. They got me. They got my hands tied. So that's why you need to subscribe. Let me throw that in there. You need to subscribe to the Better Love Movement Instagram page so I can actually talk the way I want to talk. I can actually make the content I want to really make because I can't... I, mm, unless you're in the subscription, I can't do that. <laughs> it's words I can't say. They done, they done, mm -mm, they done tied my hands. 
but come on ladies you can't provide a man's basic needs and yes mm -hmm, is a need for a man it's not a want it's not a preference it's like air okay so mm, that respect admiration appreciation those things are not a preference it's not a maybe if you feel like it no it's a i need it i need it for this to feel good i need it to be my best self i need it okay it ain't a want it ain't a preference it's a need so you not meeting your husband's need? Really? This is what we doing? And here we go. Well, if he would do this and he stopped doing that and he's like this and he, okay, but you chose him. Like this is the man you chose. He didn't wrangle you to the altar and, and, and squeeze the ring on your finger. If I, you know, if I know women like I do, it probably happened the other way around. You chose him. You wanted to marry him. So you have to take some responsibility and accountability for the choice you made. And then, let's go even further, you have to continue to say, okay, I've chosen this person. I'm going to keep choosing this person. I'm also going to keep working with this person. Like, hey, you know, there's some things here that don't always, you know, they're not always great, you know. Can we do a little work around this? You know, this isn't wonderful. Like, oh, I, I, I'm not feeling great. I'm feeling frustrated. I'm feeling, you know, just share some feelings. Keep opening your mouth, okay? But no, you chose him. And it's it's just the, the, the whole, you know, the, the lack of physical intimacy in marriage. That is like blowing my whole entire mind. Cause I'm thinking, well, that's what, you know, that's what I'm getting married to do. <laughs> like, like I ain't trying to be out here just sitting with everybody's son. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, get it in, but I got to have a husband to do that. So quit with the accountability shifting. It's old. It's old. If the message ain't for you, if it, like, as they say, if it don't apply, let it fly. Okay. Quit trying to shift accountability. That's why we're in the, the predicament we're in. Nobody wants to apply it to themselves. Every time I hear a message, the, the first person I run it through is me. Okay? I don't immediately go, well, what about? And what it no. I say, Anita, does this apply to you? Is this something that you can use? Is this something that you're doing? Is this something you need to work on? What if he chose her? Like I said, it's highly unlikely that the woman was dragged to the altar. She had to participate in some way, shape, or form. So, no, you're not going to get out of that. Nobody is forcing nobody to marry them. You chose that person. You chose, okay? You chose. Just like I chose the father of my children who's like, ain't doing what he's supposed to do. But, you know, that's, that's who I chose. I have to take full responsibility for that. The kids didn't choose them. I did. <laughs> so, no. Stop. Stop with it. All right, real quick. I'm going to look at some of these comments and I'm running in the door. Yeah. He said, I looked at my own stuff. I recognize I had to grow up and make things different. It's not hard to hold yourself accountable for my actions. That's it. I used to think with age came wisdom, but I've learned that sometimes a person can be a young fool. Yeah, oh Lord. And a grown up to be an old fool. 100%. And that's what's shocking that's what's worrying me about 2022. Like you got 50 and 60 year olds wanting to do what 20 year olds do. I ain't in no, mm -mm, I ain't never, never want to do that. I earned these years. I earned all this wisdom. I earned these gray hairs. I earned uh, letting all that foolishness go. I earned that. What I look like trying to do with some 20 some year old, no, I'm grown. I'm proud of that. That's the most proudest thing I can say. I'm grown. I've been through some itch, okay? I've learned some hard lessons. What I look like going back, that's like repeating kindergarten. What I look like doing that? I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I got the PhD, baby. I got the PhD in this in this world university, okay? What I look like going back to kindergarten? That's why I teach others. 
because I've learned and grown and learned some lessons. I wish other people would do that too. But we got to stop shifting accountability. We have to stop it. We have to stop it. Men, you play a part. Your lack of healthy masculinity, your laziness. Some men can be lazy. They want to do the bare minimum and then have a, a, a 12 chick. You want to have a chick on a, a 1 to 10 scale of 12 and you want to do the bare minimum. That ain't going to happen. Okay? You got to put in work full-time, part-time, overtime, period. Okay? Ladies, stop focusing on yourself. Focus on someone else. Focus on if you want to have a good man in your life, be feminine. Okay? Be sweet. Be open. Be adventurous. Don't be so locked down and so, oh, I don't do this. I don't like that. I don't go here. No, be open. Be adventurous. Be fun. Be flirty. Okay? And, and stop just thinking about yourself. Think about other people. How can I add joy and, and positivity to their life? What, what, what can I do to make you smile? That's it. That's it. And I'm not saying all the time. I'm just saying, you know, sprinkle it around. That's all. But yeah, we got to do better. We got to do better. Okay. I sure will. I am running in. Uh, yes, we both need to, if we're going to make it work. Thank you. Yeah. We, we both got to do our part. And honestly, I'm just trying to find my person. And I, if they're on the same of the same mind as me, like, okay, we, we both agree that we both have a part to play and we do that. That's it. That's it. It ain't hard. So, mm -mm. all right. I'm saving this live. You all have a great rest of your afternoon. I will talk with you soon. Subscription, Instagram subscription. Better Love Movement has a subscription service. So check it out. I'm going to be putting uh, reels and lives and videos over there that people who are not subscribed, you know, cannot see. So check out the subscription. Thank you so much. And as always, stay open to love.